So you guys have been asking me how you can set up a backup hard drive that mirrors all your crates and you don't have to start over creating new crates in Serato, but you can just drag and drop or mirror the crates on your original hard drive. Today I'm going to show you what to copy over to your backup hard drive in order to mirror the hard drives. Now it takes diligence. Every time you change something on your original hard drive, you then have to go over here and change the exact same thing or copy over your uh, crates, more or less, to your backup hard drive to keep them the same over time. Today I'm going to show you how to set it up. So there are several steps that go into creating a backup hard drive. The first one is choosing your capacity. For example, I have about six to 700 gigabytes of music on my original hard drive. So I'm gonna want at least a terabyte, but if you have 950 gigabytes of music, you're gonna want a two terabyte hard drive so that you have space to move around. Plus manufacturers, they round up a lot. So a one terabyte hard drive may only have 900 gigabytes of space on it. So I've got a one terabyte hard drive for my backup. The second step is formatting your hard drive. You have to know the right format in order to use your hard drive on multiple computers to be able to plug in and immediately pull up all your crates on a Windows laptop or a Mac laptop. The next one is naming your hard drive. You have to make sure that the names match isn't completely necessary, but it helps when Serato's trying to relink all of the song files to the crates. Your last step is copying everything over exactly as it is on your original hard drive. Once you complete all those things, we've got a backup hard drive. And I'm gonna show you how to keep those up to date. And also later in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it on Windows, which I prefer now that uh, Windows 10 has impressed me. And I'm gonna show you that later on. I'll probably put a link to the time step down in the description so that you can just skip forward if you don't use a Mac. So the first thing we have to do is plug in your backup hard drive. All right, you'll have to wait a moment for it to show up. Because this hard drive has been formatted before, it immediately showed up. But with Western Digital hard drives, a lot of times the hard drive may not show up unless you download Western Digital's proprietary software, which is a pain. Format the hard drive through that proprietary software to the same format that I'm about to tell you, and then delete Western Digital's software off of your computer. You don't need that crap and go into the next step that I'm about to show you and reformat your drive using your computer's formatter. Because what Western Digital does is they lock down your hard drive to only be used if your computer has a Western Digital software installed on it. So you can't use your hard drive on another laptop that doesn't have that software installed on it. Plus, the other disadvantage is it takes up to 10 times longer for your hard drive to be recognized because Western Digital software is really slow. Let's go in to your launch pad. You want to go into your other utilities. Choose Disk Utility. Now you see your hard drive is recognized here. And what we're going to do we're going to format it and name it exactly what this hard drive is. So let me plug it in just to make sure I remember what this name is. All right, it's just simply named Will Carter. So what you want to do is you want to select your hard drive. Now it's already formatted to XFact, but we're going to reformat it so that it has that name, Will Carter. So what you do is you select not this above. You want to select this partition. Hit Erase and then name it. I've got all capitals, so that has to be the same. 
and then you want to pick X fat. Don't pick any of these other ones because X fat is the only one that works both on Mac and PC. Editing will notice that I forgot to mention guide partition map. A lot of times it won't even give you the option, but if it asks you if you want guide partition map, that's what you want. You don't want any of the other options they give you. Back to the regular will. Erase. Should take a couple seconds. Done. All right, so now that we have this hard drive formatted, we can copy over what we need in order to use it as our backup hard drive. So let's go over here to Finder. Let's open up our original hard drive. We're going to highlight everything. You can also hit Command A to highlight everything. Command C to copy, or you can right click and hit copy. Go over to your second hard drive, your backup hard drive, and hit paste. All right, now that everything is copied over, which took hours, by the way, we can actually look through here. Everything is copied over just fine. Cool, great, fantastic. All right, we've got everything on there. So I can just eject my original hard drive, go into my launch pad, open up Serato. All right, there we go. Crates are loaded. They're already all here. Boom, bop, pow. Great. Got everything I need. That's all you have to do. All right, so let's close down Serato. With Serato closed, what we're gonna do is we're going to keep our two hard drives up to date. We're gonna go to the original hard drive that we use the most often, and we're gonna copy over what we don't have on the backup hard drive. It's really hard to tell with your hard drives being named the same. Really pay attention to which one you're copying from and pasting to. So let's say you updated your promo only or your DJ pool or whatever. You want to take those folders and put them in the exact same spot that those folders are in on the original. You want to put them in the exact same folders that are on the backup hard drive. Once you have all that copied over, assuming you analyze the music on your main external hard drive, then you take these two folders, copy them, and then you take them over to here on your backup hard drive, you delete the old folders, and then you paste the ones from your main hard drive. That is the most important step because that is where all the crates and everything are held inside those folders. Once you have those pasted into your backup hard drive, your backup hard drive will have all the same crates as your main hard drive. That's how you keep it up to date. Once you do that, you're golden. That's all you have to do to keep your hard drives up to date. So next, I'll show you how to do this same thing on PC. Basically, it's all the same steps. It's just different layout. First thing you gotta do, plug in your hard drive into your PC, and then you basically follow the same steps we did for the Mac tutorial, except it looks a little different. So let's get started. All right, so we see our hard drive here. We go to this PC, we cl right click, and then we look down here on the drop down menu to format. We select XFAT, none of these others, XFAT, that's what's important, default. And then volume label, you want it to be the same as your other hard drive, so capital letters or whatever you name your hard drive. Quick format's fine and then start. It will erase all, okay, that's good. All right, it's done, it's ready to go, close. We just copy all our files over, just like we did for the Mac. We keep everything up to date, just like we did on the Mac side, and that's it. That's all that's different about PC. That's all you need to know to set up your hard drive. SSDs are exactly the same as hard drives, so you're good to go, man. See you guys later. I was gonna wear my hard drive shirt. One second.
Great. All right, let's go ahead and eject. Well, I guess we don't have to eject it. All right, great. Now we've <clears throat> basically... All right, so now we've... Uh... Oh, gosh, what am I trying to say? Messed up my hair. Uh... I just realized that my original hard drive was formatted to Mac OS journaled, which is why I can't use it on my PC. Makes sense. All right, anyway, I'll fix that later. 18 gigabytes, 12 minutes. Mm. Which then what you do is uh, main heart ex <clears throat> I'm not gonna bore. <laughs> Uh, my this PC, not my PC. Wow, that's showing my age. Whew. I don't know what all this stuff is. Whatever. So, what did I just do? Uh, enjoy. That's weird. That was a terrible outro. Uh, subscribe to Steve to Deet, or no, buy our merch. Oh wait, uh, no. I don't, I don't know who I am. Huh.